everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Laura and I have a little bit of a different video today I am in like a couple weeks I'm going on a trip to my home state and I am driving so I'm going to be able to bring more planner stuff than I normally get to um, and I'm starting to think about what I might want to bring and how I want to pack and bring those items so the first thing most of this video is going to be about like little pen and pencil pouches but I did also want to just bring up these little like planner sticker folio things from Simply Gilded they have a pocket here you get these in her sub um, like in her subscription box um, the stickers come with it and that's just showing you like you can slide stickers in here so I could bring kits home I could bring a variety of stickers home and then of course I have like my albums and things too that I could pack with stickers um, and then you get a little b6 notebook that I could journal in this is also a journaling card um, the little pockets on the back so I have done this before um, I actually took this like clear jelly one and this setup is exactly the same and I took this little notebook because I was flying I didn't even bring my planners I might have brought my b6 planner I can't remember but I just kind of journaled every day in this notebook so I'm and, oh, and then I made a list of packages I was expecting um but I will probably bring the other one um, just because this isn't going to be enough pages. So the one that's already in here is probably the one that I'll bring. And I'll bring this one because this current setup here is completely full of stickers. So I would have to take all of these stickers out in order to bring it with me. And that just seems silly. So we're going to leave this one at home, but I will probably bring this one with me. So it does have a pocket, but if you put stickers in here, like I don't know that I would want bumpy things on top of my stickers. I think I would want this more flat. So I probably won't bring like pencil item, like pencil pouch items in this little folio, though I could. So items that I am thinking about bringing. I just gathered them up from my desk and put them in here to kind of get a feel for like how big are all of the items that I have and what kind of case would I need and this one that I, I just grabbed this one um, was actually like a really good size you can see it's a little dirty here I don't know what happened to it because I don't use this very often but <laughs> okay so let me take everything out and give you an idea of what I'd be working with obviously this is not including like stickers and washi tape and stuff but we'll go through this um, and then we'll go through the case in a minute. Okay, so this is my box cutter. Clearly I could not bring this on a plane with me <laughs> um, because it's just a bunch of blades, but I can totally bring it in the car with me. And I also have my little new travel scissors. These are also from Simply Gilded. Um, super genius little idea here. So those are cutting tools. This is tape roller and then I also have whiteout. I think I would prefer to bring tape but my parents have tape at their house um, but if you guys know of any and I haven't searched I can just google it but um, if you know of any like tiny tape rollers or tape um, tape dispensers where you can get actual tape not like sticky glue stuff but like actual tape but like tiny, that would be really cool. So if you know of any, leave them down below. <laughs> um, I have little page flags so I can mark um, different things in my planner or things that I need to go back to. Um, I feel like I maybe got these from Glam Planner is my guess when she used to do like little kawaii items as part of her sub. I, I'm guessing that's where I got these from um, because I know I didn't buy them. So yeah, I also have these kinds of page flags and little um, sticky notes in here. I really prefer, I don't, I don't think I meant to grab both of these. I also don't know where Morgan Community College is. Like where did I even get this from? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what state that's in. Um, 
but yeah, I'll probably, I, sh I, I will actually just put this one away because I don't need that one. So this one, and then I have like actual sticky notes. I don't know if I would bring these or if I'd bring like, you know, like Scribble Prints go sticky notes. I don't know. I just have those. I have a ruler and this is a nice little, fairly small ruler and it's also kind of bendy. So if you have like a pocket that's not perfectly straight, like it'll, it'll still fit in there and not break. Um, if I do bring my whole planner, I have a planner band from Erin Condren. These come in a zillion different colors, and it will keep your planner shut. I have my two different types of tweezers. I don't really need both. Um, these ones are super tiny and would fit in any bag, um, but these ones might not, so I pulled them out. Um, Well-kept wipes. These are not really for planning. These are, um, I use them for my electronic devices, but they sit in my desk, so it's natural for me to keep them with my planner supplies, and that way I know where they are. Um, but these are little screen cleansing towelettes from Erin Condren. I think you can get them at Sephora also, or you used to be able to. I don't know. Can you even get these from Erin Condren anymore? I, I don't know, but they're really good. <laughs> I have lip balm. Burt's Bees Honey is my favorite. And then I did pull out a variety of pens just to check for size. Um, in reality, I would probably bring like multiple of both of these and then maybe just a few other things. So I have a mechanical pencil, the Micron or Microperm 03, Papermate Ink Joy Gel. This is a highlighter that also has little page flags on it. I don't know if they make these anymore, but they're super genius. I've probably had this for 10 years and it still works and I still have page flags left. Like I don't use highlighters a lot, but I love this highlighter and like the size of it is really nice. It's not too fat. It's not too big. It has a really like small profile so you can see what you're highlighting. I don't know. I just love the highlighter. And then I have the Pentel Sparkle Pops, um, which I included in here just because it's a little bit longer of a pen um, than some of these other things to check for like length. So these are the types of items that I would want to be able to fit in my um, pencil pouch. So not all of these pencil pouches are going to work for me, but most of them would. And honestly, I guess, well, yeah, I guess these are about the same length. Um, I didn't really need to. This is probably like the longest, biggest item. Cause yeah, they're all, they're all about six inches long. So just for size reference. Um, but yeah, I figured I would do this on camera with you guys. So we already know that everything fits in this case. This is from Royal Albert. I think I got this on like Zulily or something like that. Um, and I used to have another one. I don't know if that brand exists anymore. Like I've had this for ages, but I like that you can expand the bottom. Um, it has kind of a funky shape where it's a little longer at the bottom and a little more narrow at the top, but it works. So I'm going to set this one aside because I know it works. <laughs> this is my newest pencil pouch, which is so stinking cute. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co. It has this like pink nylon and then it has the little emojis in their onesies. Like so cute. And things will fit in here. I don't know about height wise. Um... I think I could make everything work in here, which actually would be pretty slick. So that's interesting. I think I'm going to use the pen for reference because it's a little less noisy. This like jiggles. <laughs> um, but this one I think would fit as well because it expands quite a bit. Um, it's kind of like this poofy rectangular shape like this, but it has a fairly narrow, a fairly narrow profile. Um, but fits nice long items in here. So I don't know if you can still get this one. I think she's going to make it in other colors, but I love the pink. So there's that. In a similar vein to the Coffee Monsters Co., um, Victoria's Secret often comes out with these little pouches, and this is actually not filled with pencils. It's just filled with tampons because this is like, I leave this at work. <laughs> Um, but it's the same essential general shape, um, that it has the, like, boxy kind of shape to it. And then I also have, like, this white and gold one. Um, so this is a popular style that they make, um, and I think all of my supplies would easily fit in here as well. Um, the zipper doesn't go all the way down, but I still feel like because it's not very deep, like, it's not necessarily hard to find things in here. This one's maybe not the best because it has the dark lining, but um, I love, I love the floral. 
could did did you even have a question on if I love the floral like really I have the whole set of this like all the makeup bags everything oh and I should say these are usually in their like beauty accessories because I think they're meant to be like bags for like your brushes and things like your cosmetics um but you can also use them as a pencil bag um I also have this one which is a little bit of a different shape it's very like I don't know triangular more so than rectangular and it's kind of the same like things will easily fit in here this one is very stiff though because it's like this plastic coated glitter but it's so fun like how pretty is that and nothing comes off because it's just like this is all plastic it's all smooth um so this is a fun one also but maybe not quite as practical <laughs> um let's see this one is I think I got this at Torrid look at that I love nerds but it's an apple um from Hello Kitty and this would be really great for some washi tape because it's kind of deep but it's not very wide um but you could just lay washi tape in here and take a bunch of washi with you um so I might bring a few washi with me or I could put things on a washi card and that would be a really easy way to bring washi with me as well but if I'm going to bring rolls, something like this would work really well. Um, and then I have other little, like, makeup bags um, that I've gotten from various places. I don't know where. I think this one's from Lorac. Ooh, look at me go. Um, and even though it looks super teeny tiny, like, that pen still fits in here. Um, so you might have small little makeup bags that you maybe don't think fit a lot but they do and then this one is from Lancome and this is a much larger makeup bag and this one again kind of has the the bottom that can poof out um so you could like have it standing up in here and like obviously you could just fill this thing it would have so much room um so makeup bags either like these were like gift with purchase kind of makeup bags or like this one I bought in particular. I think I got this from Sephora when they did a Hello Kitty collection. Um, but again, they have the, like the base that can expand. Um, and because they're meant to fit makeup brushes usually, or like a palette or something, um, your pens and planner supplies like fit no problem in these types of pouches. So you can repurpose them and use them for bringing his pen pouch or travel or whatever washi pouch whatever you might want to bring um I love this one it's so cute <laughs> see I also have this was from Bath and Body Works so some stores like that might sell random little pouches oops I just closed it <laughs> um but this one is super fun it has this like metallic hollow and then this like orchid pink color which you guys know I die over and yeah, I think that one, let's see, that one's from Bath and Body Works. I can't remember where, I think this was from either like the dollar spot at Target. Um, and obviously both of these, like these bags are huge. Um, the dollars, I think this is from the dollar spot at Target, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or maybe one of those like Michael's bins that they have for like really cheap stuff sometimes. That might have been where this came from. Um, but clear options can be really fun if you want to see what you have with you. Um, this was another makeup bag, which again, things fit really well inside of. I haven't had Ipsy in like so long. I have no idea if they still do like a bag with every month or if you are like me and you have some old Ipsy bags laying around. I got rid of most of them, but there are a few that I kept. Um, if you have them laying around, they're also like repurpose them for something new. Um, I also have like this giant case. This is from Sephora also. They sell like travel makeup bags. Um, and again, you have like the clear. This one doesn't Looks like it hasn't maybe held up the best, but that's okay. So, and you can like, like I've done here, you can kind of double layer. So maybe you want to bring um, some, like maybe you want to bring like your little paper items in that 
into your pouch and then just like fill the rest with washi and tape and um, scissors and things like that. You can kind of stack your bags inside of each other to provide a little bit more organization. Um, but I, it looks like I'm having really good luck for size. Like I think this, I think this is the only one that I have that wouldn't fit my pet, like the longest items that I have, the six inch kind of items. Um, but yeah, I could put washi in here, but I think I'm doing pretty well as far as like what I might bring. I could use pretty much any of the other pouches so far. Okay, then we have Simply Gilded. Um, Simply Gilded has a subscription and you pretty much get a pouch every month. I don't think we've ever gone a month without a pouch. Not totally positive. Oh, I don't think this one's Simply Gilded. I think I got this one from another planner store. I can't remember who though. But some planner shops have little like items or you might have them in like a subscription box or something like that. Um, but yeah, so she has all sorts of different, I'm not going to spend a ton of time here. Um, this one, because it is gigantic, might be good for like sticker books or sticker sheets. Um, you could even put like, maybe you have like an iPad or something like you could bring your technology in one of these. I think these are really cute. Um, and they're like lined really soft and things like that. So yeah, this is a gorgeous option. Um, and then she's had plastic little um, bags and then also these cloth ones um, that are printed in in a variety of patterns. This one's one of my favorite. It looks like like rainbow cotton candy. This one's gorgeous too. Um, I love the bees. And then let's see, she did this like quilted one. So if you needed something a little bit more protected, um, you could put them in this quilted one. We have this one that was like, like a nylon material. So I think this was meant to be a little bit more waterproof or water repellent, maybe not waterproof. Um, and then we have the little pockets that are like the mini ones. So I don't think I would keep necessarily like you know, like something that could damage it. I don't think I would put in one of these. I might put it in something more like this where it's less likely to get destroyed, I guess is the word. Um, we've again had the little clear like shaker pocket style. Um, this one would look really pretty with that other hollow bag that I showed you. Um, we have this larger one. This one though, like it's more kind of like a clutch because it doesn't have the wide bottom on it. So like you could fit a lot in here, but it's not going to really stand up or anything. Um, so if you like were working at your desk or on the floor or wherever when you're on vacation, like it's not going to hold up. Like you'd have to lean it or like let it spill out. Um, so that's my only like gripe about something like this where you have this nice wide base, but it's not necessarily going to be the best. And because the opening is so wide, I think your stuff would fall out. Whereas if you had things in here and you put it on your side, they may not spill out. I should check. I think these items would fit in these. They don't open like quite all the way. So it might be a little harder. Yeah, I think I might need to use a couple of these if I was using the Simply Gilded pouches because they just don't open quite as wide. And same thing with, well, these ones, okay. So she does have two different styles of these. These ones have like the bottom on them and these ones are skinnier. So this is gonna be more like this plastic pouch, whereas this one is going to more easily fit the items because then they can stand up inside of here. So if I bring a Simply Gilded pouch, it'll probably be one of these that has the, the base shape on it where it's wider at the bottom. Um, she also had this one, which again has wider, but it's very narrow. Um, and then we have this tiny little one, which this one I think would be also good for bringing washi. It's more similar to my Hello Kitty kind of size like I feel like you could stack a bunch of washi up in there and just have a little pouch of washi or you could put things like maybe not your longer items but your kind of chunkier items I feel like you could put in here quite easily like I can just keep stacking things in here so 
yeah, small but deceptive. You can still fit a lot. So there's items like that. And then there's also options like this where you might have a pen, what is this called? A pen pocket or something? I don't know. And then you could just like, if you have like a B6TN or something, you can just like strap it around it. Or if you had a really like pretty pouch that you didn't want the inside to get destroyed with any ink, you could put your pens in here like this and your other supplies also. And that way, you know, if a pen leaks, like it's not gonna destroy the inside of your bag. So that's an option also. And lastly, if you are like traveling, but then you also are like gonna be on the go, like this would be really easy to slip into your purse or something. Um, so if you're like journaling or writing or, um, I don't know, going to the supermarket and you wanna cross something off, like you have your little pens ready to go. And I think I can fit even more in here. Um, so those four fit quite easily all the way across. I don't think I could fit a fifth of anything in there. I mean, I could maybe put like my tweezers or something, um, but I don't think I could fit a fifth pen. This pen tail is pretty chunky. And then the um, ink joy is also pretty chunky. These other ones are skinnier. So depends on the size, but this is an option for like a little pen sleeve. I don't know. What are these called? A pen pencil? case pencil protector pocket protector I don't know <laughs> and then lastly I have some options from Erin Condren so we just got this one and I still feel like I need to like wipe it out like I don't know um, but this was a free gift with launch and clearly like this thing is gigantic like you could fit I mean you can probably fit sticker sheets in here like a sticker kit let's see Like, here's a sheet from a sticker kit. So, ooh, I mean, you'd have to be careful putting them in and taking them out, but they definitely fit in here. So, if you, like, I would maybe, like, keep them in cellos, but you could totally put those in here <laughs> um, because this pouch is very, very large. It has a really nice, like, handle on it. Um, so if you're carrying stuff around, if you have petite planners, I think they would fit in here. If you have maybe like a smaller planner, you could even put your planner and your supplies or like a little writing notebook or something. But that came out on launch day. I don't know if you can buy it. And then she also has her planning packs. I do have the rainbow kaleidoscope one as well, but I think it's at work and I haven't been to work since March. So there's that, but I do, I use that one literally every day at work, um, and this one's at home. So this one you can wrap around your planner, like an Erin Condren, a happy planner, a recollections planner, um, whatever, whatever kind of planner you want. And then there is like another little pocket here, and then just kind of the empty, empty area. But the nice thing about this is like, when you do put a bunch of stuff in here, you can kind of flatten them out so that when it's laying against your planner it still stays really really flat in here and not like all bumpy like I don't know it just works really well there's just enough room for everything um and they have a really nice zipper and everything so at work I don't even put mine on my planner I just carry it around like I put my cell phone in here my lip balm some tissues um an emergency tampon maybe some money like all the things that I want to carry back and forth to my classroom and I put it in my planner plenty pouch um and then I can just like hook this on my arm if I need to carry other stuff or whatever just grab it and go so I also really love the Erin Condren plenty pouches and that is my list of pencil pouches as well as like all of the items that I would want to bring. So as you can see, I really didn't have a problem with length for anything um, except for these two, which I specifically said these would be more like a washi pouch. Did I even check? I feel like you could put some pens in here. I mean, you can definitely put them on like an angle. Like that fits on an angle. So depending on what you were bringing, let's see the pencil. Yeah, I think that's still an angle. But like, let's say I put my pens in here. I can't fit all of them, so maybe not the highlighter. But I know I can bring all of these. Okay, so maybe I have that. And then I have all sorts of little items. 
oh, I think I probably should have packed this differently because I've got all these flat items. But, I mean, it can still fit quite a bit. Maybe not these longer items, so you'd still have a little bit of an issue. But there you go. So those are my ideas. I've got Simply Gilded, Erin Condren, Coffee Monsters Co., Random Other Places, Makeup Bags, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, um, Sephora, and likewise, like, Ulta will have makeup bags, Target will have makeup bags, Walmart will have makeup bags, that kind of thing. So maybe if you're looking for some sort of fun pencil pouch, maybe venture into the makeup area rather than the stationary area and you might find something super, super cute. Um, people are always selling these Simply Gilded Buy Sell Trade because again, we all get these every month. So most people have like way too many of them. Um, so if you are looking for some of the Simply Gilded pouches, I would check out her Simply Gilded um, buy sell trade group on Facebook because like I said people are always trying to sell these items and they usually sell them for really cheap because everybody has them so people don't buy them very often. <laughs> um, if you are going to go for a Simply Gilded pouch again I would go for the ones that have the um, kind of rectangular base on them so there's like the rainbow one, um, the crane is like that this one is like that i think there was another one um oh this one is like that style these are my favorite because of their shape um like these ones are really lovely but i probably wouldn't use them as a pencil pouch i use them more in my purse for like cards and things like that. So that's my recommendation. If you're gonna go for Simply Gilded and you want a true pencil pouch, find the one that has the wider bottom on them um, because they are a little bit easier. But like, let's say you just really loved a certain pattern, like they would still work just as well. Um, all right, so tell me what you guys take in your like to-go pencil bag for whatever purpose it might be, vacation or just you like to plan or journal or whatever on the go. Maybe you have a little one for work or something and then also let me know not tape runner but if there are little mini <laughs> tape rolls like like this but mini because this is like like if I put this in a pocket pouch thing like <laughs> it's like half the pocket and it's so thick I don't know tape rolls are just ridiculous which is why I have tape runner but like Sometimes that's just not what I want. So if there's any like mini tape rolls, let me know. They probably have them on like jet pens or something. I just haven't looked for them. I didn't really think about it until now when I was pulling out like supplies I might want to take with me. So yes, and you can get like, these are again from Simply Gilded, but you can get little travel scissors. I know that all over the place. Um, I know Erin Condren just had them in her recent seasonal surprise box, so you can get them. <laughs> Post-its and little flags you can get anywhere. Small rulers you can get anywhere. Um, this is my favorite whiteout. It's in my Amazon store link down below, the Tombow Mono Correction Tape. It's the best. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm wishy-washy about this tape, tape runner. I don't know that I love it. <laughs> but yeah, so that is everything for this video. I hope it was helpful or interesting or you were just wanting to be nosy about my pencil pouches or whatever the case may be. I don't really care. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button. Um, if you have any other recommendations for videos like this that you want to see, just leave it down below. Hit the thumbs up button and comment down below anything you want or if you have recommendations um, for tape or other things tell me what you take in your planner pencil bag yes all the things you guys all the things I hope you are doing well I hope you have a wonderful week and I will catch you guys in the next video have a great day bye